Hey, welcome to our Tuesday talk. This is going to be a continuation on the series where we've been discussing of surgeries that are done after massive weight loss. And last week we talked about brachioplasty, which is an arm lift. This week we're going to talk about thyroplasties or thigh lifts. Okay, there's some similarities. The similarities are this: um, what is the cause of the problem? Okay, is it extra skin? Is it extra fat? Is it both? And that is going to determine what surgery you do. So that's the same. If you have extra skin, you need to have that removed. Okay, that's the thyroplasty. If you have just extra fat and good quality skin, then liposuction alone may be helpful. Again, that's usually not the case when people have lost a lot of weight. And then there's people who have both. They, they have some loose skin. They still have some extra fat. And if you just did liposuction, that's not going to be satisfactory because it'll just leave them with more loose skin. So you, you usually do a combination of two procedures. Now, what are some of the differences? Well, the uh, brachioplasty, that incision, remember, in the arm is pretty well concealed. So if you're wearing clothes, it's pretty easy to hide. A thyroplasty incision that, if it was similar, went all the way down the inner part of your leg to your knee, that's harder to conceal if you're wearing a skirt or shorts or something like that. It's pretty visible. So most of the time, we do a just a limited incision in the groin crease, which is that crease where your leg joins your pelvis. We keep the incision well hidden in there, and that gives you a good result. But if you have too much loose skin, then you're going to compromise your result, and you may benefit from having a longer scar. And that's really the essence of the discussion is, is the incision worth the uh, improvement that you're going to get? And again, this can be combined with uh, liposuction. Thank you.